Hello everyone, happy Monday. I'm Jenny the Vixen Ryan and I'm your host today of The Chase Extra. Every day this week I'll be setting you 10 multiple choice questions written by the same people who come up with the questions on The Chase so you know they're going to be good. There's a scorecard available for you to print off or download so you can write all your answers down. It's multiple choice A, B or C so you can keep a tally across the week of how you're doing. So it's 10 questions across five days this week. We'd love to see pictures of your scorecards and who you're playing with or who you're playing against. Is it you and the dog versus your mum? Is it your house versus the house next door? We'd love to know who your rivals are and who your team consists of. Who's got the bragging rights in your house? Have you tried the which chaser are you filter on Instagram yet? Who do you think you'll get? Don't forget to post it on your story and tag ITV Chase so we can see some of the funniest mashups and repost them. Anyway, let's crack on. Without further delay, the Chase Extra is on. Here's your first question. Life of Michael is a biography of which actor and TV presenter? Is it A, Michael Ball, B, Mike Reed, or C, Michael Palin. Question number two. Which of these field events is part of the men's decathlon but not the women's heptathlon? Is it A, javelin, B, long jump, or C, pole vault? Arise, children of the fatherland is the opening line of what country's national anthem? Is it France, Germany or Italy? Question number four. Which of these words is used to describe a sly and spiteful person? Is it A, doggy, B, catty or C, Fishy. On to question number five. When voicing the 60s TV character Captain Scarlet, actor Francis Matthews imitated which Hollywood star? A. Cary Grant, B. Clark Gable, or C. Chico Marx? Question number six. How many years passed between the Wright brothers' first powered flight and man landing on the moon? Is it A, 66, B, 86, or C, 106? Question number seven. Which Christmas song has the lyric, Pa pum pum Rum pum pum pum, rum pum pum pum. Is it A, Little Drummer Boy? B, Do You Hear What I Hear? Or C, Little Donkey? <laughs> Question number eight. Isabella Mary were the first names of which famous woman? A, Mrs. Beaton. B, Mrs. Gaskell. Or C, Mrs. Pankhurst. <laughs> Question 9 of 10. Which of these Shakespeare plays does not feature a character called Sebastian surviving a shipwreck? A, Twelfth Night. B, The Tempest. C, The Winter's Tale. And finally, question number 10. Which of these footballers was given the nickname the assassin-faced baby? A. Ian Dowie B. Roy Keane C. Wayne Rooney So 
those are your questions for this Monday. I'm going to give you just a short while to decide what your final answers are going to be. In the meantime, let's have a little music quiz. I'm going to play you a song on the ukulele and hopefully you'll be able to tell me what it is. I'll reveal the answer tomorrow and hopefully my playing's good enough that you recognise the tune. I will give you a clue. The song is very appropriate for this day of the week. Can you tell what that was? Let us know in the comments and you'll find out if you're right tomorrow. Now, on with the answers. And here we go, time for the reckoning. Scorecards ready? I asked you, question number one, Life of Michael is a biography of which actor and TV presenter, Michael Ball, Mike Reed or Michael Paley? The answer was, C. Michael Paley. The Python and BAFTA winning actor and travel documentary host. Did you know that he nearly didn't do Around the World in 80 Days because it was originally offered to Alan Wicker? Thanks for turning it down, Alan. Question number two. I asked which of these field events is part of the men's decathlon but not the women's heptathlon? Javelin, long jump or pole vault? The answer was... Pole vault. Pole vault wasn't even an Olympic sport for women until 2000. Question number three. I asked you, Arise Children of the Fatherland is the opening line of what country's national anthem? France, Germany or Italy? The answer is... A. France. The French national anthem is of course known as the Marseillaise, named after the soldiers from Marseille who were heard singing it as they marched into Paris. Question number four. I asked you which of these words is used to describe a sly and spiteful person, doggy, catty or fishy? The answer is... It's B. Catty. Fishy means something very different if you're a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. Question number five. I asked, when voicing the 60s TV character Captain Scarlet, actor Francis Matthews imitated what Hollywood star? Cary Grant, Clark Gable or Chico Marx? The answer was... A. Cary Grant. Very much like Tony Curtis in probably my favourite film, Some Like It Hot. Question number six. I asked you, how many years passed between the Wright brothers' first powered flight and man landing on the moon? 66, 86 or 106? The answer is... It's 66, A66. The Wright brothers had their first flight in North Carolina in 1903 and the moon landing took place on the 20th of July 1969. Also the date of birth of my Uncle Michael. So happy birthday for the 20th of July, Uncle Michael. Question number seven. Which Christmas song has the lyric Pa pum pum rump pum pum rump pum pum Little drummer boy, do you hear what I hear? Or little donkey? The answer is... It's A. It was written originally in the 1940s and pretty much everybody has done a version of it. Boney M, Destiny's Child, uh, Johnny Mathis. Probably most famous version is the duet by Bing Crosby and David Bowie from the 70s. But I think the weirdest cover version has to be a heavy metal version by Christopher Lee. Yes, that Christopher Lee. On to question number eight. 
Isabella Mary were the first names of which famous woman? Was it Mrs. Beaton, Mrs. Gaskell, or Mrs. Pankhurst? The answer is... It's A, Mrs. Beaton. Mrs. Beaton was known for her book of household management, which became absolutely essential reading in the 1860s. Question number nine. Which of these Shakespeare plays does not feature a character called Sebastian surviving a shipwreck? Twelfth Night, The Tempest, The Winter's Tale. The answer is... C, The Winter's Tale. You'd think he was short on plots or something. The opening scenes of both Twelfth Night and The Tempest feature a shipwreck and the aftermath of it. There is a shipwreck in The Winter's Tale. It's part way through and baby Perdita survives it along with Antigonus. Although sadly, just a few minutes later, Antigonus is eaten by a bear. What a way to go. And finally, question number 10. I asked you which of these footballers was given the nickname The Assassin Faced Baby? Ian Dowie, Roy Keane or Wayne Rooney? The answer is... It's C, Wayne Rooney. The nicknames uh, play on Baby Faced Assassin, which is a nickname that's been given to several sports people over the years, but most notably for Wayne Rooney, his Manchester United colleague, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> So that's it for today on The Chase Extra. How did you get on with those questions? I mean, there were some tough ones in there. I will give you that. Also a couple that you really should have got and I'm sure you're kicking yourself over. We want to know how you've been getting on. Do you have the bragging rights in your house on today's quiz? Or have you been put to shame by Grandad? Let's find out. I want to see selfies of whoever you're playing alongside or playing against in your house. I want to see your scorecards. Just get them on social media. You can tag ITV Chase or you can use the hashtag The Chase Extra. You can like and share this video. Get your friends down, get them playing as well. Tag them in the comments because we want more rivalry. I'm going to be back tomorrow at 6pm directly after the chase on ITV with another 10 questions. And as a little extra treat, I'm leaving you now with a classic blooper from our archives. But for now, the chase extra is over. Stay safe, everyone. Bye bye. In 2008, the Russian city of Zheleznovodsk unveiled a monument to which medical procedure? A. Hair transplant. <laughs> B. A lumbar puncture or C, enema. <laughs> <laughs> a monument. <laughs> Just a 20-foot tube. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? A stainless steel tube like that. What? You put. I think I've gone wrong. You've gone wrong? I don't know. It they, they could be any of them. Oh, it ain't going to be enema, is it? <laughs> Be fair, Adam. <laughs> be fair, it's not going to be enema. Yeah. Though. I mean, how can you really. You that was a guess. That, a was, a, that was a pun. You can't, I just you took can't a pun. have a monument with enema on it. You can't do that. <sighs> you can't do that. Hair transplant, it's going to be like a, a little silver ball with little spikes coming yeah. out of it. <laughs> lump, it's got to be lump. I'll punch it. Go through with four grand. The correct answer is. On a plaque, it says Enema of the State. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Potato.